NASA is preparing to land the Mars 2020 Perseverance rover on the red planet. Well, cast your mind back to February last year, and you may remember the excitement when NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. Now, a strange discovery in a recent NASA photo has some saying these visitors haven't just been observing Earth. Check out what we found on our next door neighbor, Mars. Thirty months after the Mars expedition began, a bright object was spotted following NASA's Perseverance rover. This mission may likely be the first alien contact we will have with Mars in the form of a lichen. However, things seemed to get shaky as Ingenuity lost communication with NASA after an emergency landing. And even the rover went into safe mode, scaring the team at NASA. While headed towards the Belva crater to explore the ancient stream, rare crystals were discovered. What happened to Ingenuity? And what is the bright object following the Perseverance rover? In this video, we'll discuss the details of Mars exploration after 30 months. Exploring the Red Planet. The long-term plan of Perseverance is to explore Naverta Vallis, which looks like an ancient riverbed. Much of the Jezero crater was filled with water from this ancient river. Perseverance found bizarre boulders in this area. One was cracked in half. Ordinarily, you would wonder how these boulders got here and why one is cracked. It is speculated that some fast-flowing water probably brought them here. One of the rocks even showed weathering signs by making the shape of a face with two eyes and a mouth. It could be that these borders came from tens of kilometers away. More and more evidence continued to pop up to prove the existence of water on this red planet in the past. Perseverance's predecessor, Curiosity, had also found substantial evidence of water in the Gale Crater. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Ken Farley, Perseverance's project scientist, had earlier stated that the rover was made to land on the Jezero Crater because of the orbital images, which showed a delta and clear evidence that a large lake once filled the crater. Perseverance also found mudstones, signaling evidence of water flowing into the Jezero Crater millions of years after its formation. From somewhere else, these boulders were believed to have been deposited there by running water. According to Cable, there are ideal conditions for finding signs of ancient water where carbonate and phosphates are found, which point to a watery, habitable environment. On Sol 802, the NASA team ordered the rover to take a drill sample. The operation took about 20 minutes, as recorded by the rover. Perseverance then drove over a rock, creating a fine imprint in the sand. Throughout the 20-minute drilling exercise, wind action could be seen raising particles of sand into the air. The team desperately tried to get a visual of the sample in the sample tube. The sample, however, was partially retrieved. They only got about 1.3 centimeters successfully. The rover tried another spot, but it was unsuccessful. Perseverance moved to another fascinating site and examined its surroundings with a high mosaic, moving to get a better view of the sedimentary layers. The rover tracks were visible on the ground. A new rock site called Emerald Lake came into view, and the NASA team selected it as the next sample point. Perseverance can't be reached. The rover came across some interesting rocks on Sol 821. The rocks appeared to have been formed by some geological activity, forming the shape of a humanoid mouth. It is speculated that the mysterious formations are due to some process known as cavernous weathering. The smaller rock is a perfect example of cavernous weathering. Cavernous weathering is the process of how caves are formed on Earth. On Earth, it is caused majorly by water action where debris in the water is trapped by current, carving rocks over time. These rocks indicate the strong presence of water in the past. The rover picked its way to Emerald Lake. It got there after a relatively short drive. Perseverance began to drill the layers while recording it. The drilling went successfully. The crumbly rocks are known as conglomerates. Can you guess the amazing thing about these rocks? 
If we could get them back to Earth, they may likely give us clues as to when the magnetic field on Mars was lost. The magnetic field is important for the evolution of life. But here comes the scary part. Just as Perseverance finished drilling and took images of its surroundings, something unprecedented happened. The team at NASA lost communication. The rover could no longer communicate with Earth. The rover had entered safe mode about four times since it began exploring Mars, but usually it came back online after three days. This time, however, three days passed and the rover still needed to communicate with Earth. This naturally caused the team at NASA to worry to no end. It wasn't until five days later that communication was re-established. The rover returned to work, capturing images of the drill it made before going into safe mode, while the team at NASA tried to piece together the puzzle as to what caused the loss of communication. Perseverance successfully sampled a recent drill site and planned a drive to the Snowdrift Peak. However, before then, the rover noticed something strange in the distance. A rock on the horizon that seemed to have a hole through it. With its supercam, Perseverance got a better view of the rock, which is likely another example of cavernous weathering. The rover drove from the Emerald Lake site and headed towards Snowdrift Peak. The NASA team hoped the rover could get back in touch with Ingenuity, which had been out of reach for a while. On Sol 836, Perseverance found a rock, which could be another example of cavernous weathering. The rover drove to Snowdrift Peak and looked around, showcasing the beauty of the sloping hills of the Jezero Crater Wall. There are some interesting rocks in the area, which could be more examples of cavernous weathering. Something bright is following us. It turned out that there were many dangerous rocks in the area. Therefore, the team at NASA ordered the rover to record the bottom view on its next short drive. From its position, it should have been able to contact its helicopter companion, Ingenuity, but it has yet to receive a response. On Sol 843, the rover captured something bright on the surface of the red planet. It was likely a piece of space debris called a multi-layer insulator from the sky crane, which probably flew off and crashed when Perseverance landed. But this object seemed to be following the rover. Why would an object follow the rover on Mars when Mars is uninhabited? The piece of debris moved with the wind, but how did it get here? Did it travel three kilometers over the delta, or could it be another piece of debris? Both objects have similar shapes and sizes, so they might be the same piece of debris, even though it's unlikely. If it's not the same piece, then it shows how far the object went after the crash landing. Dragon's Egg As the rover continued its exploration on Sol 845, it found some boulders and captured an image of them. The team at NASA examined the boulders and made an interesting observation. It is speculated that the boulders were deposited by some running water, a water system more robust than the one that deposited pebbles and smaller rocks. Since the boulders sat on the smaller rocks and pebbles, the NASA team believes that the water system was a more recent action. Perseverance continued and passed by an interesting rock. It stopped to get a closer look. After seeing the rock, the team at NASA instructed the rover to gather close images known as Proximity Science. The team named the rock Dragon's Egg and wanted to sample it. Perseverance took a high-definition mosaic while trying to rub the rock, but the operation did not go successfully because the rock was too hard. You could even see the mark the river left on the rock during its attempt at abrading. It looked somewhat like the abrasion tool slipped off during the operation. Perseverance decided it had earned itself a break from all the hard work, so it looked towards the rim of the crater and captured an amazing image in which we see the vast walls of the Jezero crater on either side of the ancient river system, which carved its way through. The images the river will capture when it enters the ancient riverbed remain to be seen. The break is over. The rover turned to face the dragon's egg rock once more. It used its dust remover tool to clear the dust and then capture close-up images of the rock. The somewhat greenish rock seems like it is rich in olivine minerals. 
The second attempt at scouring the rock was smoother than the first, though the patch was deeper than usual. Could persistence have found lichens? Looking at the abrasion patch made by the rover, the team spotted a dark circular marking on the rock. It is believed that the markings could be remnants of lichen. Lichens are a complex life form that involves a symbiotic relationship between a fungus and an alga. The fungus being the dominant one gives the lichen most of its characteristics, from its shape to its bodies. The reason why it is believed that the marking could be remnants of. A study was published in 2013 in the journal Planetary Space and Science. The study showed that certain species of lichen could survive in simulated Mars environments. On Sol 857, the rover came across a similar rock, and while carrying out the abrasion, the team spotted a similar marking. Could these markings be remnants of lichen, or markings left by the abrasion tool? It happened before with the Spirit rover in 2005, but the markings then turned out to be scratches from the rover. These two markings here are probably minor scratches from the two finger-like stabilizers on the rover's robotic arm. The rover was then ordered to head toward Dream Lake. What happened to Ingenuity? On Sol 870, Perseverance was forced to a stop. It spotted something. What was it? Ingenuity. But why was it here? The rover turned to get a better look at its friend. Ingenuity had some explaining to do. It told the NASA team it was not where it should be because it had to perform an emergency landing due to software issues. It had happened once before, but the NASA team thought it had been fixed. Well, it was not. Repaired and ready, Ingenuity then performed a short test flight, rising to a 16-foot altitude before rotating and landing. On Sol 874, Perseverance finally reached Dream Lake and found a rock with a strange texture. The rover removed the dust on the rock, revealing a spectacular assortment of crystals. NASA thinks they are olivine crystals due to their greenish hue and the amount of olivine detected in the area. A typical gemstone of olivine crystal on Earth is worth $50 to $500, but the ones on the Martian surface could cost more. The rover was ordered to scour the rock and take samples, while Ingenuity went to scout the path ahead. After completing its geological exploration, Perseverance bid farewell to its friend, Ingenuity. On Sol 881, Ingenuity embarked on its 55th flight, navigating westward to scout the route for Perseverance. During this flight, Ingenuity spotted an intriguing formation and strategically chose a landing spot, capturing a vibrant color image of the distinctive Martian feature. NASA's Perseverance rover continues to explore Mars and uncover new and fascinating discoveries that contribute to our understanding of the geological composition of the Red Planet. The challenges of drilling through resilient rocks, navigating the harsh Martian terrain, and system issues have proved to be no match for perseverance, and the rover remains determined to continue its mission. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly like this video and subscribe for more updates. While you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.